What's going on guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're going to be doing the, an event guide, the Halloween event. And a few things you're going to need before you start the event itself is you're going to need some supplies. Um, you're going to need white berries, chocolate berries, chocolate does, and cave night chat. To get the white berry and the chocolate berry, all you need is the seeds which you can buy in the herb shop. And you guys got to plant them at the bush patches. You need 100 of each of these. The chocolate dust you can get from the herb shop itself. So that one's super easy. You need a Bevelon seed to get the nightshad. And to do the nightshad, you're going to have to use the patch at the um, Drain of Mare place. Um, so another few items that you're going to want is a Magic Scepter and or a Amulet Glory to get to Drain of Mare. Now to start this event, you guys got to go to Edgeville and talk to Posted Pete. And he'll pretty much just say that you need to go get four um, parts of a letter. Then you just say sure. I'll help and then it started. To get to Drainer Mare now is where you need to go. You can either use a Glory and teleport to Drainer Village and run north, or you can use a Magic Scepter and Drainer Melon, Metal of Manor, Babylon Patch. And you guys just go there, and then that's where you guys can plant the seeds to get the Nightshade. Um, also, when you're doing the farming part, just you can note them right there on the deposit bank and that's super easy to do it shouldn't take you too long to get 100 of each and you also are going to need some gloves um when doing that but if you use the telly that i did you just got to run over to the entrance of drainer manor which is super easy just run over and then once you go right in the door for me at least on the past two accounts i've done this there's been a page a torn part of the pit letter anyways right there so you just collect that and everyone says that they spawn in different areas for everybody which that might be true so if that's true you just gotta check all the wardrobes the crates anything that you could search in here and you'll get a piece um there's three pieces in total and i found that they all spawn in the same spot for me anyways uh at least i'm pretty sure that they did so i just ran over here when i did this on my iron account it was over here in one of these wardrobes so that's just for me. They say that they are they are random for everybody, but I found that for me it was not random. So that's where my second one was. I'll also check all the floors. I think there's like three floors up and one or two floors down. Check all of them, search all the wardrobes, all the crates, anything that you can search or whatever, check it. Because it could be in any of them supposedly. Uh, but for me, they were on the same one. So I went up here. Uh, I went through the door because I think it was in one of the crates up here in my final um, piece that I needed. I think it was through the door over here. So I went in here, search, and there we go. So I got three. Once you have three, go ahead and combine them to make the full letter. And then go ahead and read it. Then make sure you have all the supplies on you so that way you don't have to tell you back here. Then after that, just go downstairs or wherever you're at. And go over to the witch, which is over here. And you gotta talk to her. She's gonna say she wants these supplies to give you this ring. So just talk to her. Then after that, go ahead and trade in your supplies. You can have over 100, exactly 100, whatever. Trade them all in. Then she'll give you this ring. So take off all your armor off, put the ring on, because now you're gonna need that to go to the meeting of the vampires. So to get there, Go to skilling, go to smithing, and then once you are here, go ahead and you're going to have to run out to the left and south. Uh, we got to go to, what is it called, Slippy or whatever it's called. I forgot the name of the town. But you just run south, you go out and follow this path around, and it'll take you to that area. So you just keep following it around. I'm going to keep it going here just so... That everyone can see how to get there. So there's no confusion for you guys whatsoever. Try to make it super easy. Just keep following it. Keep following the brown path. And again, make sure you're wearing the ring. And make sure you're this vampire. Because the ring does allow you to transform into other things. Which I'll show you at the end. But for now, just stay as a vampire the whole time. There's really no reason to take it off. So just a heads up. So just keep following it down. You guys will see that you're passing by all this stuff, some trees, and then up ahead here, there's going to be a split in the road. You're going to take the left one, 
if you're facing south the left one and they'll take you into this town then once you're in the town just keep going south a little bit and there should be another vampire over here that you guys will see go ahead and just talk to that vampire and it will take you into the meeting and now you're in the meeting so you can just get through the dialogue but it pretty much just says that they're all gathered here to do a trick-or-treat and that's what they want to do and everyone's gonna go collect candy whoever gets the most candy gets a reward so after you're doing that just talk to the vampire next to you and you know, say do you want to go back to dark mayor and then you say yes and then it will take you to here and then also you guys will have an Easter basket. I mean, you, know, you have a basket. So now we're gonna go collect candy. So to collect the candy, uh, just go north and you see all these yellow dots on your mini map. These are the NPCs. So just go ahead and go door to door getting candy from all of them. Some of them will just give it to you. Some you gotta answer some dialogue. Some of the questions will be like, I don't know who you are. So then you say, I'm so-and-so, they'll give it to you. Some say you gotta entertain me, so you gotta dance. And the other one is, is your outfit doesn't look right. So there they all are. And there's even one you guys steal candy, which you're actually going to have to use. So just click on them. You can either just go one by one to click through them or you can actually read it and get it right. Also, you need 20 candy. So all you got to do is keep following this path around until you get 20 candy. You just click on your basket. It'll tell you when you have 20. Then after you have 20, you just go back to the main entrance and talk to that dude again. And that'll be it for this part. So I'm going to go ahead and collect 20 candies real quick. And then I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so once you get your 20 candy, um, we're going to go ahead and go back to the dude. You can check to make sure you have 20 candy by clicking on your basket. And it says all this. You've collected 20. That should be more than enough. And that's how you know. There's plenty of people to give candy to. So don't worry about that. There's plenty of NPCs i will give you candy. Uh, I didn't even use all of them, to be honest. I just went door to door and kept getting them. Uh, if you guys want to try, though, you might be able to just do one of them. I doubt that they actually did it that way, where you could just sit there and click one and they'll keep giving you candy. But I went door to door. And then also, just a side note, you will have to steal candy from some of them. Um, some of them will be like, I don't have any candy for you or something. And then you just steal from them. Then they'll be like, oh, I didn't see that one coming. They'll give you candy. So that was kind of funny, I thought. But after that, you just run all the way back around the way that you came. Go back to that dude that was in the front by the big door. And then go ahead and talk to him. And then what he's going to do is take you back to the, the meeting again. And in this meeting, all it pretty much they say is that they're comparing how much candy they all have. They all say how much candy they have. And then they'll say that you're the winner. And you end up getting the reward. So the reward is the bat. Um, so once you get that, you're done. You can teleport back to Edge. You get the bat and the ring from this, and then an NPC, something with the NPC. Uh, and then this ring transforms into a different thing, the ghost, the skeleton, and then a Santa. So I'll just show those off real quick. Here's the ghost, and then here's the skeleton, and then the final one, the Santa, which I think looks super dope. That's going to be doing for this one, guys. Make sure you smash that like button. Subscribe, as always, and I'll see you all next time.